Hey guys, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone running iOS 14.4. Let's get right into the video. The first step is that you want to check on the screen or in the description and see if your device is compatible. If your device is on the list, then you can proceed. And if it's not, your device is not supported. So please do not attempt this jailbreak. If an updated jailbreak for the newer devices have been released, I will link it in the description and I will make a video. There are a lot of fake videos out there claiming they can jailbreak the newer iPhones, but all they make you do is fill surveys and download apps and waste your time so they can make money. So please don't waste your time. Just check the description and see if you have a jailbreak for your device. Okay, so if your device was on the screen or in the description, you can proceed with the jailbreak as I said. So the next step would be to go into settings on your phone and turn off passcode, face ID, turn off touch ID, turn off everything on the screen and remove your passcode. This is a mandatory step. So make sure that you turn it off because if you don't, it may not work. Now all you need is a Mac for this jailbreak. A laptop is compulsory. There are videos out there claiming that you can jailbreak without a computer, but that is not possible. The check range jailbreak makes use of the checkmate exploit and that's the only way that you can jailbreak your device right now. So this is not possible without a computer. So don't waste your time watching videos on how to do it without using a computer. You need a Mac for this. You can't use Windows. I heard there are some workarounds using Windows, but I do not recommend it. I highly recommend that you use a Mac. If you don't have one, please borrow it from your friend. Also, please note that this is a tethered jailbreak, which means if you turn off your device or your uh, phone dies because of no battery and you turn it back on. So no matter what, if your device turns off and you turn it back on, the jailbreak will be disabled. You have to connect it back into Checkrain and follow these steps and the jailbreak will be enabled. It looks like you're jailbreaking again, but you're not. Uh, you only have to jailbreak the first time and the next few times you're only enabling the jailbreak. So now, Connect your device to your Mac and open Finder and trust the device. Click on trust, then you'll get the same notification on your iPhone. Click on trust on your iPhone again. I've already done this, so it's not asking it for me. Now open your browser and go to the official Checkrain website. I'll leave it on the screen as well as in the description. Go to this website, this is the original one, and download the latest version of Checkrain. I already have it downloaded, so I'll just open it and drag Checkrain into the application folder if it asks you. If it gives you this alert, just choose replace because you might have a previous version of Checkrain on your computer and that may not be compatible with the iOS 14.4 jailbreak. So if you replace it, then now you have the newer version of Checkrain. Now open your applications folder and open Checkrain with the right click and then clicking on open. If it doesn't open the first time, just do it again and it'll open. You have to right click and click on open. Do not double tap to open it. If it still doesn't open that way, then you have to go into your settings, go into security and privacy, general, and you'll get an option right here to open Checkrain. Okay, so finally, Checkrain is open. You can see that your device is connected, but it says that you cannot jailbreak. It's not a problem. Click on options and only if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8, which are the A11 devices, check the BPR check. Okay, if you have any other devices, do not check it. Now everyone, check in allow untested devices and then click on back. Now proceed with the jailbreak. You can see it says we can jailbreak. So click on next and just next, next, whatever it asks you to do. And now your device will be put into recovery mode. You have to manually put it into DFU mode after it's put into recovery mode. So just follow the steps that it shows you in Checkrain. I usually just tap on start on the Checkrain app and on my device, I would tap the volume down button and the power button for three seconds. Then I'll let go of the power button and keep holding the volume down button for 10 more seconds and it'll enter DFU mode. You might fail the first time, but if you do, just keep trying again and you'll get it. After your device entered DFU mode, the jailbreak will start automatically and this won't even take a minute or two. So just wait and it will complete. After it's done jailbreaking your device, your device will reboot once more and after it reboots, disconnect the cable. You can disconnect it right now because of course the jailbreak is completed. And if you look on your home screen, you won't see anything new. Just wait up to five to 10 seconds and you'll see the Checkrain app will pop up. Now tap on the Checkrain app to open it and you'll see an option to install Cydia. Just tap on install Cydia and this may take a while. It took me like five to 10 minutes. I think it downloads Cydia. So just be patient. After it's completed, you will see Cydia on the home screen. Open it up and you can see that my iOS 14.4 device is jailbroken. And just to prove it, I'll show you in the Cydia's homepage at the bottom, you can see it says iOS 14.4. This is an iPhone 10 and there you go. 
Now click on sources and you'll see it's loading. So wait for this to completely load and it will give you an alert box. Tap on completely upgrade. You have to do this guys. It's very important to install the necessary tweaks that are used in Cydia and used for the proper working of Cydia. Also, as I said in the beginning of this video, try not to reboot your iPhone or try not to like completely use it up to 0% battery because then you you have you know you have to reboot your device or you know turn it back on and your jailbreak will be disabled so you have to connect it back into Checkrain and just open the Checkrain app and do everything that I said this time it doesn't jailbreak your device completely new it just enables the jailbreak okay so none of your data will be lost none of your jailbreak data will be lost so don't worry about that so that's pretty much it if you want to see the top ios 14.4 city tweaks video that'll be in the description or on the screen that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button thanks for watching peace